In this video, we are going to look at using the extension Chrome Remote Desktop in order to give your student control of your computer screen during teletherapy when you're using the platform Google Meet. So first I'm going to talk about what you have to do on your end, then we'll talk about what your student's gonna have to do. There's definitely some um, drawbacks to this setup. First of all, you can only use it if you and your student are both on a computer. Then your student is going to have to do some navigating and setup, so they might need support from their family um, to get it all set up so it's going to work correctly. You also only have the option to share your entire screen. So you give your student control of your whole computer screen. You are the one that's in control of it, and it's very easy to um, X them out. But just to keep that in mind, that they're going to see the view of your whole screen, all your tabs, and um, you can't just share a window, which I know isn't great, but I'm going to walk you through what it's going to look like. So first, you're, of course, going to want to download um, the extension, or you can just access it through a browser. Your student can do that as well. The language is a little bit funny because um, the therapist is the one that's going to be saying get support and the student is going to be the one that says give support. So you wanna make sure you're here in this remote support tab and you will generate a code. And the code lasts for only five minutes and you'll go into your Google Meet and just put it right in the chat and send it there to your student. So now on their end, what you're gonna to wanna to have them do before you're set up and ready to share an activity, is of course they need to go into that browser and you need to have the student mute that tab. So they will right click and go to mute site. You don't wanna mute yourself, only mute your student. Otherwise, you're gonna get a bunch of audio feedback as you're doing your activity. So now your student has muted themselves. They will go into their chat and they're just gonna copy and paste into their um, browser the code that you gave them and it will pop up. Like I said, you're in control. So it pops up and asks, do you want to share your computer with them? And you can say, yes, go ahead and share. And here you can see at the bottom, you have the option to stop sharing whenever you want. So now that your student is able to control your um, computer, you can pull up, um, you have options of some different activities that you can pull up. So I just really quickly downloaded this on Lesson Picks and put it into Google Slides. So this is something that your student can then get on their computer and drag these icons to interact and play the bingo game. Of course, because this is in Google Slides, an option would be for you to just share the slide with your student and you both can log in and you would just direct your student to kind of drag out these windows the same way that I have so that you can see yourself, your student, and your activity. Of course, there's many things you could go do beyond these interactive slides. If you're using boom cards or if you are on the website books and you want to um, have your student be the one that's pushing and interacting with the book, this can be um, a good tool for that. So like I said, there's definitely um, some drawbacks, but it is a way for you to um, use this strategy of screen sharing in your teletherapy using Google Meet. So I hope this helps.